Hey guys, I'm Alex from Zaxworks, and in this tutorial, we'll learn how to dynamically link your Illustrator artwork with 3D Invigorator Pro. Okay, so there are two main steps in making your Illustrator file dynamically link up, and I'll point them out as I go along. Alright, so here in Illustrator, I have this logo, and notice how each part of this logo is on its own layer. I have the ball on its own layer, the background on its own layer, and other stuff like text. Good, that's the first important part. Put each part on its own layer. Good. Next we'll go into 3D Invigorator and import our Illustrator file by going up to Object, Import Illustrator File. We'll find our Illustrator file and make sure Open by Layers is selected. And this is the second important step, Open by Layers. Make sure this is turned on, alright? Then we'll hit Import. Now all the hard work in dynamically linking the object is done. Now we'll make the logo look nicer. Notice how each object has been extruded and beveled, but they're all placed in one spot. Let's separate them apart by grabbing everything except for the blue ball. Then in the object controls, we'll increase Z position to 5. Then we'll deselect the red ball by holding down the command key on a Mac or control key on Windows and press the red ball. We'll then push these objects forward by 2 in the Z direction, deselect the blue baseboard, and push them forward by a couple and deselect the yellow group and move a couple forward as well. Then I'll select the text only and change the bevel to round edges small just to make the text a little more legible. Great, now we have a nice looking logo that is hooked up. But how do we know it's hooked up? Well, at the top of the object controls panel right here, we see this reload button. If I click it, we see it's not doing anything because we haven't made any changes to our Illustrator file. So let's come over here to our Illustrator file and drag our red ball way down here so we can see a big change. Then we'll go up to File, Save, make sure you save your file, and then back into Pro Animator, I'll hit the Reload button and we can see the logo update right away. Perfect, that's it. Now you know how to dynamically link your Illustrator artwork to your Pro Animator scene. That's it for this tutorial. I'm Alex Dow from Zaxworks and I'll see you next time.